Hello, I'm Keith Murphy. I'm an electrical engineer with SPEC North America. And I'm Neil Dortenbaugh, customer solutions engineer here. We're here to talk about the EQZ4 combined environment test chamber with mechanical refrigeration. It is a stainless steel chamber with vibration capabilities. It includes a dryer purge and the P300 controller with web capabilities, which allows for remote control of multiple chambers. It has an interior volume of 4.1 cubic feet and a temperature range of minus 70 Celsius to 180 degrees Celsius. The heat rate is 9 degrees C a minute and the cooling rate is 8 degrees C a minute with an electrical service requirement of 208, 230 volt, 60 amps, 60 hertz. We will be releasing a 50 hertz export model in the near future. It includes an 18 by 18 inch vibration table, which Neil will speak more about. Um, you know, the vibration table that's incorporated into these systems uh, is identical to the table, the repetitive shock vibration table that's installed in our smallest T1.5 system. This is a repetitive shock vibration table, and a key advantage to the repetitive shock is the ability to get three axis and three rotation excitation into the product simultaneously. Rather than running like a classic electrodynamic shaker, this table has impactors on the bottom that are striking it at angles to drive shocks into the product from all different orientations so it sees fatigue in all three axes and the three rotations around those axes simultaneously. This is a table we've always used for HALT and HASS applications. Typical HALT and HASS application also includes using a chamber with direct inject liquid nitrogen cooling so that we're able to get extremely fast cold ramp rates. A key problem with the direct inject liquid nitrogen cooling is the fact that you need the liquid nitrogen infrastructure, tank and pipe, uh, in order to implement it. With a mechanical refrigeration system, you're relieved of that. So you're able to conduct HALT testing using repetitive shock, the aggressive repetitive shock vibration in uh, a system that doesn't require direct inject liquid nitrogen cooling. You do have the capability to add liquid nitrogen, uh, an LN2 boost to this system, so you can add that in and get faster ramp rates, cold. Uh, we also offer the same basic uh, technologies with a larger chamber, a uh, table, a 30 inch by 30 inch table, so you can use this for larger products if necessary. Uh, the system is all controlled by a P300 controller. I'm going to let Keith tell you a little bit more about that controller now. The chamber can be run at a constant vibration and temperature set point in constant mode or also profile editor, which allows for a profile to be created and run. I will demonstrate how a constant temperature and vibe set point can be used. Uh, here we enter in a set point value using the touchscreen display and also a vibration set point which can be enabled or disabled. Then in order to run the chamber from the main screen here we can choose any of our predefined constants. I'll choose the one I just created. And as you can see we are able to see the temperature and vibration set points and the process value that the chamber is currently running. So there you have the repetitive shock table running at 5G RMS. If you'd like any more information about the combined environment uh, mechanical refrigeration systems offered by SPEC, you can contact your local SPEC rep or go to SPEC.com where you can get information on all the systems offered as well as information on the training that we offer through our customer solutions group to help you implement the Halton Haas technology at your company.